Famously, of course, your head is on a pike behind the, the, the wall of the of final sin. boss. Uh, was that you, or was that the guy sort of playing a, doing a goofing on you, or what? What was the story with uh, the head? So yeah, that was my head. That was taken from a picture <laughs> that was taken at ID. Um, so what happened was I was basically uh, the art. The artist thought that. Well, okay. So I was at night. I was programming the sounds of that level. Yeah. And uh, and I needed to get the the boss scream when you hit it with a rocket. Yeah. So um, to do that, I didn't want to like try and play the level where I'm like having every monster come after me and spawning monsters and and all that stuff. I just wanted to shoot the thing. So, so shoot the sprite that was hidden in the wall back there. So I no clipped back there. <laughs> and as I was no clipping outside the level, there's a hall of mirrors effect. Yep. And I was getting closer, and I thought I saw myself on the screen. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? So I thought I saw my reflection, and then I got inside that room, and I'm like, no way. Seriously? <laughs> they hid my head in here. And and I was just, I knew it was hidden in there. It wasn't, you know, and they didn't say anything to anybody. It was the That's artists awesome. that did it. It was Adrian and Kevin. <laughs> and so they hid my head in there, and I'm like, so they think that, when the game comes out that they're going to laugh and tell me what they did, but <laughs> now I know what they did. <laughs> so I'm going to put a secret in here that lets them know that I found out. <laughs> and so that's what I did was I, I was thinking, how do I let them know that I found this when the game comes out? So I thought, well, that's my head behind the, the, the boss. And to win the game, you have to shoot my head. Yeah. So, why don't I say to win the game you must kill me, John Romero? But I'll <laughs> reverse it and pitch shift it so it sounds evil. <laughs> so when you come into that room, it sounds like that big icon of sin on the wall is yep. saying something to you. So I, Bobby Prince was there, you know, and it was like ten at night or something. I went in there and I told him the whole story. Yeah, so, your sound guy. Sound yeah. So he recorded it. He pitch shifted it. I programmed it in. First thing the next day, as soon as everyone gets to work. American McGee comes in, Oops, we were and he, pl you know, everyone. We were all over this game constantly. So, yeah. as soon as we started testing the level, as soon as he started testing the level, he heard that, and he's like, "Ooh, scary reverse pitched, back, you know, back backwards <laughs> voice. Let me reverse it immediately to hear it." So he pitch shifted. You know, he basically didn't need pitch shifted. He just reversed it, and he found out exactly what it said, and they told everybody. So the joke lasted a day, <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. But we left it in because it was funny. And then over here we have Jason Height's Icons of Doom uh, sculpture that he had made. It's the last level of Doom 2, and uh, my head is hidden up underneath it. Because my head in the game is behind his brain. When you come into the room, you hear this evil demon voice. And, it, and basically if you reverse it and listen to it, it says, to win the game you must kill me, John Romero, because I'm back there. 